Hey guys, welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today, we're gonna to be showing you guys one of our newest and latest boats, it's the Exceed F1 Power Boat. Now, I'm not an expert in uh, F1 boats, but I'm gonna try my best to give you guys the best information on this boat possible. So you pro boat guys, go easy on me. Um, it is an F1 Power Boat. As I know it, F1 Power Boats are the most elite uh, racing boats you can go up to. Kind of like F1 Racing, it's the highest form of boat racing. Um, the F1 Power Boat, what's cool about this boat is that it has an outboard motor. That's one of the first we've seen. Outboard motor, it is brushless driven and we're going to give you guys a good look at it. Um, the boat, its overall length, it's 650 millimeters. It is an all fiberglass construction. It's got a beautiful gel coat on it, nice and smooth. Um, it's all polished up so it's real sleek. From what I read, it's got a catamaran uh, tunnel hole design. In the catamaran style, which means it's got kind of like two pontoons on the bottom and the center, the main part of the boat is lifted. What that does is at speed, um, it kind of acts like a wing and it generates lift. So you're actually gliding on top of the water, which gives these F1 boats its high speed. And as mentioned before, the gel coat finish, it's real smooth and it just glides across the water. Um, let's get a closer look at that outboard motor. That outboard motor, um, it's held on by four screws. I took them off before the video so I can give you guys a closer look inside. The outboard motor, it is water cooled, it is brushless, it's a 380 sized motor. It's got a 2636 kV motor in it, um, powered by a 50 amp ESC. It's got a flex drive shaft going all the way down to the prop. It's got a three bladed prop, 3.2 by 1.4 pitch I believe is the prop. And in the manual, it says you do want to keep this prop regularly lubricated. You got this kind of fuel line back here. Um, you stick a needle uh, tip in there and you fill it up with grease every time you run it. Um, it's 2636 kV, punches out a lot of power. It calls for 11.1 volt battery. It's water cooled as mentioned before. It's got a pickup on the bottom of the hole down here. It picks up water. It draws water through the ESC, through the motor and out the side of the outboard motor right here. The outboard motor shell is also fiberglass construction. The bottom part of the motor including the skeg is cut from billet aluminum so it's nice tough and durable if you're hitting little things in like a swamp or pond little twigs uh, you'll be sure it's not going to just snap off let's open up the hatch here or the canopy if you will and take a good look inside inside you're going to find you're going to see the fiberglass construction beautiful fiberglass construction you'll see balsa pieces um, you have a plexiglass back here that covers your steering servo your rudder servo and your 50 amp ESC. You're also gonna put your receiver in there. In the front, you're gonna find your battery tray. Uh, it's kinda of got like a balsa construction for your battery tray and you can fit up to, looks like you can even fit a 5,000 11.1 volt battery in there. It does come with Velcro straps so you can secure your battery strap. This boat is almost ready to run, which means it's gonna come with your motor, your servo, and your ESC installed. You're gonna need a radio and a battery and a charger to get it running. Uh, one of our newest boats in our line. I've never seen an F1 boat or an outboard motor. I'm really excited to run it. So watch out for the video of us running it at the Laker Pond. If you want more specs and videos of this boat, be sure to check out nitrorcx.com and watch out for that video of us running it.